Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Morning News Bulletin on Monday. Celtic manager Neil Lennon is set for crunch talks with the club's hierarchy this morning, just four days after he claimed to have their full support, following yesterday's shock 2-0 defeat to Ross County in the League Cup. And the Hoops lost their first cup match since 2016, meaning they've won just two of their past ten games. And they've lost their last four home matches for the first time since 1958. Here's what Lennon's feelings were after the full-time whistle. I've told you all I had a conversation with Dermot and Peter on Friday, you know, and we want to find solutions to the problems that we're having. Obviously on evidence today we're still having the same problems, but I can't say what decisions the board may or may not make. The club itself condemned last night's protests outside the stadium, stating players and staff were threatened and shaken as events threatened to turn violent. Two police officers were reportedly hurt. Midfielder Ryan Christie said he and his teammates are desperate to turn their form around. I think when you go on a run like this, people automatically straight away will say, oh, they're, you know, they don't care for the club or they're not trying their best. Whereas, again, I think every single person out on that pitch today was, was absolutely desperate to get a result. It was a fantastic performance from Ross County, who defended resolutely and took their few chances. They faced a trip to Livingston in the quarterfinals. Here's what boss Stuart Kettlewell had to say. If you speak about a little bit of pressure I might be under with bad results, I know that that's magnified with, with a club like Celtic, of course it is. Um, but again, I can only speak in the sense that I think the guy's done a, a terrific job and I've got so much respect for him. And whilst the other ties see Aloha host Hibbs and Dunfermline meet St Johnston, Rangers are now heavy favourites for their first trophy under Steven Gerrard. So they'll take on St Mirren in a few weeks' time. It was a comfortable 4 0 win at Falkirk for them yesterday for a team that's flying at the moment. Everyone hopes the magic of the cup uh, creates an upset, but it was about us doing the job in a professional way. And we really showed our level and our quality tonight, and we were, we were too good over the 90 minutes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget you can like, share, and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter channels, where you'll also find the football show with Peter and Ruffy. It's on every night at four. They discuss all today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.